So it's Gladys's first birthday and we're making preparations to do a little celebration behind the scenes here at Gorilla World. We're going to do it in this area right here, which is actually the same area we used for Gladys's um, surrogacy project. We had it set up as our nursery facility. Gladys was uh, raised in here adjacent to the other gorillas and we're going to set it up today for her birthday celebration. We're having a special cake made, not the kind of cake you would buy at Buskin, but one we make in-house here. Our uh, curator of nutrition, Barbara Henry, is making a special cake made out of things like rice and raisins. We have some special gorilla chow biscuits mixed in there. She's making an icing out of pureed bananas and sweet potatoes. We've even carved a candle out of a sweet potato, a number one candle. So it's quite an elaborate cake. It's a big cake because Gladys is going to share it with her surrogates, uh, Malinzi, Mara, Samantha, and Chewy. So uh, I think we're all set up. Let's let them on in and see what we get. Awesome. Looks like Malinzi's going to enjoy some cake first. I'm sure Gladys will get her fair share soon enough. You know, one of the great things about having Gladys here at the Cincinnati Zoo is she gives us a great opportunity to talk about in situ conservation. Very important work we do here at the Cincinnati Zoo. We've been supporting wild gorilla research for about 15 years now, particularly at a place in the Republic of Congo called the Nibali Ndoke uh, Project, uh, the Mbele Bai study specifically, where they do research on wild western lowland gorillas, the same kind we have here in zoos. So by having gorillas at the zoo, and particularly Gladys, who is so popular, gives us a great chance to give you guys that, inf that important information. And it also gives you guys a chance to help out a little bit more if you like. One of the great action steps you can take to help us out here at the zoo is recycling old cell phones with us. Not a lot of people realize it, but there's a mineral used in uh, all of our cell phones, which is mined from Gorilla Habitat. So by recycling phones with us, we help reduce the need for that mineral to be taken from the wild. And the money we make off of those cell phones, we put right back into our wild gorilla conservation works. You can find a lot of good information about all the things we do here at the Cincinnati Zoo. And there's a special page on our website, CincinnatiZoo.org, where you can look at our cell phone recycling program. You can find out how you can donate your phone, how your school or your company can get involved in some really great cell phone recycling projects. So uh, I hope you enjoy Gladys's birthday celebration. And once again, you want to help out, give Gladys a cell phone for her birthday. Uh -huh.